Okay, guys, so I'm here to talk some football and today I'm here to give you guys more NFL previews and more specifically why the Baltimore Ravens are going to be the second wild card of the AFC. Now, the Baltimore Ravens went 10 and 6 and ultimately won the Super Bowl last year. The Baltimore Ravens were ranked 16th in total offense, 11th in rushing, averaging 118.8 yards per game, and 15th in passing, averaging 123. Point seven yards per game. This year, I expect the Ravens to be a run first offense, considering that Joe Flacco has lost two major weapons in Dennis Pierre and Antoine Bogan, even though he got Dallas Clark. I believe it was two days ago. I still expect Ray Rice and Bernard Pierce to carry the load for the offense. This year, last year, Ray Rice carried the ball 257 times for 1143 yards and 9 touchdowns with 61 catches for 478 yards and 1 touchdown. I expect his carries to go up in the 280 range because, like I said, I don't think. The Ravens are going to let go that go grow that much since so many weapons around them have either left be a clear free agent or have gone down to the injury. So I expect them to run the ball. I expect Ray Rice to have about 13 to 1,400 yards to go along with that. I expect Bernard Pierce to carry the ball around 180 to 200 times for about 900 to a gallon yards. I expect these two to be the Focal point of the offense. Now, in terms of Joe Flacco, even though he had he had a competing percentage of fifty nine point seven and go for three thousand eight hundred and seventeen yards, had twenty two touchdowns and can interception. I expect them to go the ball most, mostly out of play action. I don't expect them to drop back like 30 to 40 times. I'll, I can go play back to about 20 or 25 times and his main target this year obviously is going to be Corey Smith who last year had 49 catches for 855 yards and he cut down. I would expect Similar production a little bit more, but like I said, 
the Ravens are maybe going to be a wrecking offense. And I expect Dallas Clark to be the main safety blanket for Joe Flacco. I expect Joe Flacco this year to have about 3,200 yards, about 19 or 20 touchdowns, and about 8 to 10 interceptions. Now, getting to the defense, the Baltimore Ravens defense guys here were ranked 17th overall in total defense. They allowed 122.8 yards per game, which was 19th. And that was rushing, packing, they allowed 228 yards per game, which was 17. Obviously, I expect this defense to take a hit just because of the losses of Henry and Ray Lewis. But they're not going to be that bad as people expect. They, they still have people who can wreck the quarterback in Elvis Schumerville, Haroli Nada, and Terrell Suggs. I think that'll make up for the deficiencies of the secondary. That'll give the secondary more ca time to recover. Recover and they'll be not as bad as people expect. Elvis Gummerville right here with Denver has 54 tackles and 11 tacks. He's not gonna be playing defensive end, he's gonna be playing right outside linebacker. So, that might have an impact at the beginning, but I think as the season wears on, I think we'll be seeing the Elvis Goomerville of the past. I think he'll have about 50 tackles for 9 to 10 sacks. That'll help. The second area I guess I recover when they get blown out of the water. Pair that up with Holy Nada, who last year had 51 tackles and 5 sacks. He will also apply pressure to the quarterback. So I can get my linebacking core and the defensive line is going to make up for the losses, for the loss of every in the secondary. Ultimately, I think this, this defense is going to take a step back, but they're not going to be as bad as people expect, especially I think the secondary is going to be solid just because the middle, the linebacking core and the defensive line is going to apply pressure on the quarterback. Now, this year I have the Ravens going nine and seven. The main reason I have them making the playoffs 
is because of two reasons. I don't know if Big Bang is gonna stay healthy for a full year in Pittsburgh, and I don't believe Miami's gonna be that good. That's it for right now, guys. Peace.